guys welcome to the channel get some sun with paz today we're in sunny bodroom it is absolutely biking it's 33 degrees and guess what we're going to take you up the fake oil street so come on what do you say stop messing about come on mate Yes, so folks, I've got my hat on again because it is absolutely blistering here. It's 33 degrees. It's the 1st of April. And now this is not an April Fool's, Fool's joke. Um, it is 33 degrees. Now, if you look at the weather forecast, I haven't got a clue where these forecasters get their um, weathers from, but it's saying 25, 26 degrees. That's took in the shade. If you, you go around, we was in the taxi earlier and he showed us on his taxi temperature, 33 degrees, and he said it's going to get hotter. Now, bear in mind, it's 20 to 1, and we don't get to peak temperature till around about 3, 3 p.m. So, I'm probably going to melt by the time I get to the end of this video. Come on, let's go and find these fake shops. We do have the Julie Monster with us, as usual. All right, Jules. All right, Jules. All right, Jules. She does that every time, doesn't she, folks? All right, so we are in Bodrum <laughs> Marina. Very, very busy up here. Uh, There's traffic everywhere. And what we've realised as well is when the mopeds come past you, they don't, need, they don't um, even use the road. If they want to get around the car, they'll just mount the pavement. So you have to have your wits about you. And also, we've seen the biggest chandelier I've ever seen in my life. Trying to get around all the traffic's on the back of a wagon. I'll tell you what, absolutely lovely. It's too hot though. Do you reckon, Judge? Do you think it's too hot? It can never be too hot. What do you mean it can never be too hot? I'm oh, absolutely melting. The top of my bonds looks like a radish. It's that purple, purple, red, reddish purple, and I've got to go faster stops where my sunglasses have been as well. Anyway, folks, it's absolutely lovely in Bodrum. Um, it is the very, very, very beginning of the season. Things are just opening up in Gumbet. If I have to be honest with you, Gumbet's pretty much dead. Um, <coughs> but the hotel, Park, Park, Oyas, Park in Oyas, that's um, having 300 guests today. So a lot of the bars around in a gun vest opposite that, uh, especially the one opposite, the hangover bar. That's going to open up tonight. We were special guests in there last night. The two girls that we were on holiday with, well, we met them on holiday. We was out with them the night before. We went out with them last night. They know the chaps that run it, so they found them up and they said, can we come? And they opened up the bar just for us. They were there, they was dancing with us and everything. Vodka and coke till three o'clock in the morning. Absolutely spasticated again this morning. Can you say that? Yeah, you can now. Um, so we're going to go and find this high street that sells all the designer fake stuff. I'll say that quietly. Um, but I have already got my man bag. We're going to go and have a look at some other bits and bobs. And I need a cap, so I'll go. Yeah, I'll Julie go. Moss needs a cap because it's burning. But it is, honest to God, it's mega hot. It's the 1st of April and it's not an April Fool's job, guys. Come on, come with us. Must be tired. So, we have Bodrum Marina just behind us. What we're going to do is have a walk through the square and that'll bring you to what's known as Fake High Street. It's got a mosque here. Lovely looking mosque, and we've got a Bodrum Castle just over there as well. It's a beautiful place. So yesterday was the 31st of March and it was election day in Bodrum. Now, Bodrum has a new president, and it's this guy behind me. Uh, Tama Mandalansky. I ain't even going to try and pronounce that, but that, that's the bloke anyway up there. I'll show you a picture of him. But yesterday, you couldn't consume alcohol anywhere legally, um, but shh, mouse bars will still serve you, but they'll give you a paper cup instead of a glass, so it don't look so obvious. But it is actually legal to consume alcohol on the 31st of March, which is Turkey's election day. A little bit of information for you there. I'll show you the uh, mugshot of the guy that won it. There you are, folks. There's flags like that flying about everywhere. Tama Mandalansky. Oh, I ain't even going to try and read that. Um, but that's your new president of Bodrum. Not Turkey, but Bodrum. 
Now this is one of your traditional Turkish mosques, which at certain times of the day you'll hear the prayer music coming from. And believe me, you can't escape it, you can hear it everywhere. Nice and serenful, serenful is that the word? I'm going to use that one, that's going to be the new word from now. So we're going to have a walk over here, and just beyond there, you've got Faykoy Street. Let's go and have a look. Another word of warning as well is the cars around here, the drivers are mad. They don't care if you're crossing the road, they will just carry on coming at you. Um, it is a bit mad to be honest with you, it's a non-stop stream of traffic. It's traffic. Traffic. I ain't even had a drink yet. Right folks, so it is absolutely boiling hot. So we've just we've come across this little restaurant called Ezel. We're gonna sit down here, have a pint of tubeog. We've got a fantastic view as well, which I'll show you in a second. And then the fake high street is literally just behind here, so we're gonna have a walk up there and show you what's on offer. Stop messing about. Oh, that's very much needed. This is the absolutely gorgeous view that we've got from this Izel restaurant. Stunning. Got the catamaran in there. And it's a party catamaran. He's got all the disco lights in there, rigs and everything on there. You guys, look how clear the water is. How beautiful does that look? I'm just dying to jump in there. So we've got the Julie over here reading the Kindle, as she always does. Necking the tubeog. Well, not necking it, sipping it. Sipping it centrally, and your Jules? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Savouring the taste. That's the mouth she said in a vlog lately, that is. Mm-hmm. Savouring the taste. <sighs> Bottoms up. Right, that was an absolutely banging point. It was very much needed. Because it is sweltering. I keep saying that, but it honestly is sweltering. We're going to walk through here now, into the square, and then we'll be on the high street that does all the fake design and stuff and everything. Um, if the YouTube police are watching, just ignore this bit. <laughs> Some nice back streets. Have a look at this. All being freshly painted, ready for the tourism. This man's doing a very good job and I'm running into the bushes. Right, so we've got the marina behind us. This is where we come from. We was actually having a drink or just a little bit up here, but we've come back to the start of the fake high street. I'm going to call it the fake high street. I'm going to call it the real designer high street. Anyway, the marina's behind us. We start here and we're going to walk you all the way through it, show you the shop, show you what's about. Um, we'll have to be a little bit careful about what we film, obviously, but it'll give you the general idea. I'm going to be buying a hat, so I'll be haggling. Julie Sorry. wants to buy a hat. Are you buying a designer hat? Or are you buying just a hat? You can't buy just a hat, it's got to be a designer one. It's got to be a designer hat. They only sell designer gear. Like mine. Way. I might actually start putting these as a bit of merchandise for you guys to buy. I might actually have, get some some with pads. should do that, shouldn't I? And you can buy them from a YouTube shop that doesn't exist yet, but it might do one day. Keep following me, hit that bell for notification, hit the subscribe button, give me the thumbs up, and I, one day I might be able to afford to run a YouTube shop and you guys can buy me merchandise. <laughs> Aren't they lucky? Yeah, stop messing about, come on. Well, we're going to get run over by a uh, tuk-tuk. <laughs> right, so here we are, we nearly got run over by that little tuk-tuk there. So, this is where it starts, you've got McDonald's on your left-hand side, it's probably the smallest McDonald's I've ever seen in my life. We've not been in there yet, we might have to try that out. And then you've got Platin which sells all your uh, designer watches. Now, what you will notice is as you look, there's no prices on anything. And that's because they'll charge you whatever they feel like that can charge you. So you need to haggle. So come on, let's carry on. We'll follow the Julie Moister. Julie Moister is now going to be the vlogger for the day. Carry on. She does say a lot, so don't expect to hear a lot, to be honest with you. Now, Fully enough, folks, is any other time you can't stop Julie from rabbiting. When it comes to a vlog, she tends to go a little bit camera shy, which is perfect, isn't it? 
See for you guys anyway. Right, so here we are. We've got a shop that's actually called Designer. Have a look at this. Now, this is a designer. Now, it's a little bit hard to tell. Some of these some of these shops do actually sell genuine clothing that are made in Turkey. Uh, obviously, other shops sell genuine clothes that shouldn't be made in Turkey, if you know what I mean. So you've got a bag shop over here that sells Louis Vuitton and everything. Uh, Chanel Paris. You've got Bonita over there. Sandal shoes. Julie's doing a great uh, vlog. Saying loads there, Jules. Oh, no. Everywhere's been done up as well for the tourist season. It is the very, very, very start of the season. So everywhere's still being freshly painted and done up, ready for you folks to come over. We've got some nice shops there selling souvenirs. You don't see many souvenir shops around here, do you? It's all these um, the designer shops. Well, it's, that's why people come to Turkey, though. That's why they're interested in coming to Turkey. So they want to buy all the cheap knockoffs. So, we'll just give you a gander as we walk through. Where? Where have you, oh yeah, there we are guys. One of the best teams in the world, in children's sizes. Some more here, look, five euros. Might be worth buying the grandkids, a couple of them jewels, five euros on sale. You just walk past Starbucks here. There's the old restaurant, cafe and bar. Are we going to get run over by yet another tuk-tuk? You do have to have your wits about you guys because you get mopeds and everything flying up and down there. And these little tuk-tuks, I didn't see any of these yesterday, this is something new. You wouldn't fit me in that. It's like a cardboard box on wheels. Say hello to you. Hello! <laughs> you don't want to watch us. Now we're just film, we're going to film you watches. Yes. So, we're going to try and find out in a minute, chaps. So, uh, how many uh, euros or liras or whatever it would cost to buy one of these uh, cheaper Rolexes, we'll call them. Cheaper Rolexes. That one's nice there. Look at this one there. Nice looking watch. So just for instance, just for, just for the vlog, um, see that the blue and red one? Yeah, the Pepsi. How much would something like that cost? Can't can see inside. And just tell me yeah, for the, just tell me for the video. English or In English? English. Hundred. 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 Hundred pounds. Yeah. So hundred pounds for that Rolex watch there. Yeah, from the Pepsi one. Yeah. For, for automatic, sappy glasses and waterproof. Waterproof as well. Of course. Okay, it looks very nice. Because watch. Normally it's expensive. This time is season is not that expensive. So because it's it's not quite the season As yet. The prices are a bit lower. Okay. So yeah, folks, meet yeah. the lovely gentleman here. He says if you're coming just slightly out of season, you'll get lower prices. Obviously, when it's summer, everybody's here, so I can charge a little bit more because there's lots of customers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but shh, don't tell everybody you only know that from the Pazmo stuff. <laughs> Come on, stop messing about. <laughs> Right, folks, so there's an example of what you would pay if you come out and you bought yourself a cheaper Rolex watch. Anyway, have a look at this. It smells. I wish I could pass over the smell of this whole street because it smells absolutely gorgeous. We've got Turkish kebab and it smells beautiful. Have a look at this. Yes, folks, have a look at that. I wish I could get the smell across on the video. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at this here. Look, you can see the juices just dripping out of it. What are, they, are these potatoes and carrots? Potatoes, all carrots, green pepper, red pepper, and beans. Yeah. Oh, it's, it smells absolutely banging. That does. No chilies. No. No chili. No chili. In, uh, in the table. You got yeah. all your salad and everything down there as well. So, how, how much should one of these kebabs be? Yeah, two hundred twenty lira in the wrap. Two twenty lira. How much is that in pounds? That's about three, four pounds. I think about four pounds. About, so about four pounds for a Turkish kebab, and I tell you what, guys, yeah. it smells much better than the ones you get back in England. It smells absolutely beautiful. Special of Bodrum. The speciality of Bodrum. Right, so we have just promised that geezer that we're going to come back and try his Turkish kebab. Now, to be honest with you, we have already said that we're going to go back to that. Uh, was it Is Is El? Is El restaurant because it was. The, the lad that was serving us there was lovely, and we're going to do a bit of a, a separate vlog on that. Um, 
but we're also going to do some Turkish kebab. We've got to put this on, on a separate vlog as well. So I might have to go down and apologise for not eating there today. Uh, but we'll definitely be back here tomorrow, sometime this week, to come and try the Turkish kebabs because they smell absolutely banging. Just don't tell Georgina it's slimming mold. <laughs> come on, stop messing about. To be fair, folks, I am actually trying to stick to my diet. When you see me in my last series in Tenerife, I was actually weighing in when I got back from Tenerife at 18 stone nine, and I was like, you what, you know what I mean, chunk. Um, when we come out here, I was at 17 stone four, I want to maintain that weight, so the only way I'm gonna do it is this morning, I ate boiled eggs on brown bread um, with a bit of salad, and then yesterday we had this massive kebab, but it was chicken, I asked for no oil, um, there was oil in the, in the lamb obviously, because lamb's lamb, um, but I had to eat it because it was tasty. It was and big, then, it? protein, obviously we had breads. Yeah, protein. Um, on the evening, I had another, I had a chicken salad and I asked for that with no oil. So I'm doing all right, to be fair. Hopefully, when we get back, I'll only have gained maybe a couple of pounds, hopefully maintain. But within that couple of pounds, uh, we're going weigh in on the following Thursday. So we do a bit of what we call it, SP okay. on Slimming World and should be able to lose the weight before okay. we get back there. And that'll impress him, won't it? Trying to pull me into the shop here because I want me to buy some sunglasses, even though I'm already wearing proper ray bands. So we're gonna I'll tell you what, we'll have a look. Come on. So these are the sunglasses, Josh. Julie's just gonna go off up there to try and buy a hat. I was gonna quickly show you the sunglasses. So now yesterday we was in there. Uh and we're gonna call them a cheap Porsche Ray Ban Dior. Um and they were trying to sell them to me yesterday for ten pounds a pair. We've got Burberry as well, and to be honest with you folks, I do like my sunglasses, and I might actually buy some. Um, it's about there, 300 lira. Like I say, haggle with them. We'll get them cheaper. And we're going to go up here, because Julie's trying to buy herself a hat. She wants a nice hat? Yes, sir. You got a short trip with a nice hat? I am the best. You're the best. Yeah, really, really, everything stone wash. With brand, with our brand. And here. What? Yes. If you buy them, I'm divorcing you. Too many colours. Um, I don't. Today my business. These are nice, Alvaro Eagles. Really They'll good. make you look about ten years younger. No, I don't. I want a cap. It is. It is. Uh, it is natural. Natural. It's not real. Not no, real. Natural. Natural. Yes, I think natural. You said it's not real. It looks real enough to me. Yes, You're holding it in your hands. Papier, you know papier. Uh, yeah, I've got my hat. I'm, I've got my vlogging hat. Just Julie wants a hat. Right, come on then, Jules, make your mind up. We have so safari hats. Safari hats. Nice. I might be all day at this, folks, no, so we'll... Uh... Please, lady, I don't have first customer today. Yeah, your first, first customer, customer of the day. Look. You get one for one ninety nine. Buy one, get one free. Look at this. Yeah, I have pink one. Looks so beautiful. It's going to take some time, this good. We'll come back to you in a minute. Never never <laughs> what do you think of this one, folks? He just said they look like a very sexy man. Eh? <laughs> yes. It's new collection. To be fair, I quite very like special. that. I quite like that one, to be fair. Not I might, I might get that. How much? How much for the two, then? How much? What do I make for you? 3,000. 3,000? How, how many in English monies? Nothing. No, nothing. Three. Free. Three. Free. <laughs> is it buy one, get one free? Yes, believe me, free. Four for Turkey, nothing. Turkish money is dead. Just, uh, just Turkish money. Just Turkish money is dead. Turkish money is dead. So yes. how, how much in how much in pounds? Sterling. Uh, you take English money. You have English money. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is for you good. This is for you good. Good. Does good this mean deal. you make more? Good deal. If you have English money, do you make more? But oh. charge less. <laughs> Turkish English money he is likes strong. English money. Okay, I make two two thousand six hundred. Okay, not three. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll come back to you in a minute, folks, and let you know how much we paid. 60 quid. £60? Pound. Uh, pound. Too much, too much. So we're not we're not going to pay that. He wants 60 quid for two hats. We ain't going to do that one. We ain't that daft. Anyway, folks, if they try to overcharge you for and just walk away, he wanted £60 pounds for two uh, not very realistic hats, if you know what I mean. So we walked away from that one, we've not bought them, we'll find another shop and buy one from there. We've got some hats in here. Yeah, but the problem is with me, they're all designed here. Let me get your own video. 
They're all designer gear and I'm the sort of person that'll just go to... Yeah, we're not really designer people, if you know what I mean. I mean, you can see me all of these out there and this is me vlogging that. I just um, want a cap oh, that costs lock like better Camera's trying to you, follow right? the locals. Hang on, let's bring you back, bring you back. Bring you back this way. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. The camera tried to follow the locals as I was walking past me. Let's turn off the face enough. tracking. I'd there be happy go. enough having a cap for like five euros. That's all I want. I That's what we was expecting to pay, to be honest with That's you. I thought I that want. was going to be more like five, ten euros. When he said sixty pounds, I was like, you know what? Let's get some sun repairs. I'm a bit of a skimp friend. I hate spending that much of money. Oh, the the account has got my wallet. The trouble is, you don't find any of like the beach shops, do you here? Yeah. Where you're going to get the cheap caps. Well, the beach shops are probably by the beach. So I'm um, probably going to end up walking through here without a hat. That's going to make an interesting vlog, isn't it, guys? Anyway, I will try and get her to buy a hat. Assure me, Jules Morrissey will be wearing a hat by the time we end this video. At Comment right below. Price. What colour hat do you think she should buy? Comment down below. Yeah. Right then, folks. Julie might have found a little Not shop here, which is literally next door. And he's willing to charge just £10 for a hat. So she's got to find one that she likes, which might take all afternoon. As long as it fits me, I think it's half me. Uh... As long as it fits her head. Have you got a bit extra big? Yeah, no, it doesn't fall down there, but it's going to be any size. That's fine. Is that all right, is it? Yeah. Do you want to look at yourself in the mirror? Not really, no. Hang on a minute, let me just flip the camera around. Hey, yo, look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. All right, then, folks. She's going to buy a hat. I told you, I guaranteed you, you should buy a hat before the end of this vlog. Look what she's got. You say you're coming for Turkish, my shopping is very good price. Hang on, hang on, hang on, you ain't on, hang on, let me just pan the camera around, he wants to talk to you. Okay. okay. My shopping is very good price, you're looking for price, for this one is five pounds for shoes, and for bag, and everything is very good price, and thirty pounds for good bag, good quality What's bag. What's your name? Price. Um, Karadeniz Bag. Now, what's your name? My name is Akram. Akram, Akram, Akram. Akram. right. Come to Turkey all the way on the bus and come and see Akram and buy yourself a pair of shoes. Come on, stop messing about. <laughs> so right, got me at. she's got a hat. My come on, let's move there. on. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Come on. You're we, we will. We will. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right, come on, folks. We're gonna have to be careful of the music plan. I'll have a talk. This. I'll just keep rambling like that. Keep rambling. Keep rambling. Keep rambling. Keep rambling. Otherwise, we get a copyright title from uh, YouTube. So we've got Alvary, we've got Ali's bag. Let's have a look at this. There's Ali's bag. I'm going to have to keep talking because we've got music just playing just next door. And we've got some nice handbags in there. Chanel Paris. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Who? Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent, yeah. I thought it was Louis Vuitton. No. I don't know. I don't know my designer stuff anyway. There's the shop. There's the inside of the shop. Loads of uh, designer bags in there. Very, very cheap, very nice. Yeah? Very cheap, very nice. Maybe. Can we film in your shop as well? Really? Yeah. When? Just now. So come and have a look. Yeah? Come on, let's go and have a look in there. So this is trainers and shoes. You want to spend money? No, no, we just want to show YouTube what you can buy in Turkey. Yeah? Okay, so he says yes, that'll do. There we are, guys. So got, them are a bit funky, aren't they, them, eh? Look at them, do you reckon them would suit me? Woohoo! Glow in the dark with them, you'd never get run over, would you? So you got some Nike Air. you got your beachwear as well, look at these. Them are funky, aren't they, look at them. I think they're what you call sea shoes. you got Adidas. I ain't going to say it properly, obviously, for uh, YouTube purposes. We've got Cleo, if you know what I mean. It's very nice, very nice. What you got there? Oog. I know it's, I know what it is, but we can't say it for YouTube. So it's Oog, if you know what I mean. Very nice. How much? Too much. Too much. <laughs> well, I'm gonna buy them then. <laughs> there we go, guys. Louis Vuitton. So let's go and have a look. Let's have a walk up the rest of the high street. Hopefully you're enjoying the vlog. Just remember, hit the subscribe button. I need all the help I can get. Sell me a uh, therapist says. And you do have some little shops here that sell you souvenirs and that as well. Hello. And you got Pringles? Can't beat that, can you? Look at this cake shop. We walked past there yesterday. 
looks absolutely amazing. Look at them. Whoa. I might get one of them that looks healthy, to be honest with you. You've got lots of strawberries in there, orange and kiwi. I look nice out there. Shall we have a cake, Jules? Just, just I'll tell Georgina it's Slimming World and then it won't count against the diet, will it? Hello, you all right? I might get a cake. Can we film it? Yeah? Good. Yeah, no problem. For YouTube. Okay, it says no problem. Can I have one of these? I'm going to have one of them. That one there. Yeah. Oh, look at that, folks. I can't wait to get my choppers around that one. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yes. Right, we're going to tuck into some of that. Lovely jubilee. How much? Here to go. Uh, sit here. In. And then all out. How much is that one? 440. So that's 440 for that one there, folks. Bargain. We're going to go in for some of this. Look at this here. Look at that. He's trying to follow my face. Strawberries, raspberries, peach, pineapple. We've got kiwi in there. We've got like a chocolate mousse in the bottom as well. Looks banging, this does. We'll call it dessert after breakfast. It's talking. Getting a bit of this mousse. It's got like a cake in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. What's Julie got? Julie's got a chocolate eclair. Come and show the camera, Jules. Look at these folks. It's going everywhere. Hang on, let me just get the camera around to you. The other way, the other way, the other way. There you are. So, you show the camera. Let's set the face tracking off a minute. Put it up to the camera. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm going to now. what you need to do, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on, let me just, just, hang on, get it round there, that's it. So Julie's now stuffing her face full of the glare. You enjoying that? Mm -hmm. Good. How much was it? 200 lira. The bulk of them. 200 for both? He said 440 for this one. You sure? I will check my Revolut card in a I don't think you could pay on Revolut here. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> oh, oh, what's this? He's, getting, he's giving me free samples here. Thank you very much, thank you. He's just giving me this. Don't worry, geez. Looks nice, though. Let's set the face tracking off again. Oh, can't, folks. I reckon it's full of cream. Shall we, shall we have half each? Well, I'll, I'll buy it half. Hang on. I'll buy half all in one go. So, ooh. Tastes like almonds. You know, Jules, I'll put that on your plate. You've got a bit more than half there. That's how I'm, I'm greedy. So, I was lovely, it's like coconut, almondy, biscuity, very, very sweet. We're gonna eat this now. I think we've got watermelon on here, we've got a bowl of watermelon. Ah. That's cold on your teeth. Ooh. Lovely, look. Look. We'll eat this. And we'll carry on up the old street. Right, folks, that was absolutely banging. We've got somebody playing music outside, so I've got to be careful. I'm going to give the chap the air. Uh, I'll get some some with pass card. And moving up the old street. I think the Lloyd to be the idea of being seen on YouTube because everybody wants to be seen on it. There's most places that I film. Like, no, 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 don't film, don't film. But yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, cool, I want to be on camera, you know what I mean? So, what we got here? Diana bag. We've got another sweet shop here. 
This is Nefes. Another sweet shop. Turkish delight. You have to have some of that before I go back home. I love a bit of Turkish. Julie don't like it, so that means that there's more for me. I've got it. Jackets. Hey? Grandma. Grandma shop. What's it called? Grandma shop. My small brother name. Okay, that's your small brother, the Ramos shop. Yeah. Right. Folks, if you're in Turkey and you come to visit Bodrum, come and have a look at Ramos shop. Oh, it's his youngest brother's name yeah. after the shop. Thank you. We're going to come and have, we're gonna have a look now. We're going to show you some of the bits and pieces. You can, you can. You can. Thank you. Right. Here are, guys. I'm not going to say the names, I'll just let you read them. But that, the quality. It's really good. I mean, if you look at the look at the stitching as well, give a bit of a close up. How much would that be? English lira, euro. Uh, English. Five thousand lira. Five thousand lira. It's uh, around one hundred twenty euro. About one hundred twenty euros. Okay. So something like that here would cost you about one hundred twenty euros. And they all pre pretty much the same yeah, yeah. price. Yeah. 100. So between 100 and 150 euros for these. And they're very, very good quality, I can assure you that. I bought one or two myself. I bought some shirts and I bought a, a man bag and a couple of football shirts. Very nice, very nice quality. Let's give it a feel. So it's, it's, it's nice thick quality, it's not thin, it's not cheap feeling, it's nice. Yeah. You can look at And it's called Ram. What's the shop called again? Uh, Ramos shop. Ramos shop. shop. Okay, thank you very much. So guys, if you're in Bodrum, just come and visit this chap here. Lovely chap. Very helpful. Thank you. Right, somewhere the Julie Moisture is smoking a cigarette. And she's here. Dirty habits. Dirty habits. The street cleaners having a party. Disco? Yes. Well, let's see you do a bit of dancing then. What's he doing? I'm going to have to talk half the music. I don't know if this is going to get copyright struck by YouTube. Oh, I'll pay the giver, guys. What's he going to do? I think we're coming, we're coming. What's he doing? Oh, oh, oh yes. One bar. Yes, we've seen street dancers, now we've got the cleaning street dancers. <laughs> you don't get this in the UK, do you? Look at that, yes. Yay, good lad, good lad. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi, boy. Yes, man. Where are you from? Britain. <laughs> Birmingham, near Birmingham. I can't say where because all my YouTube fans will try and find me. My, um... My, my page is Instagram. Yeah. Darling, yeah. this is a phenomenal. Okay, okay. Best, very, very short. Yeah. Music, always happy. My music song. Always good, always good. Enjoy the music. Yes. Enjoy the work. And I'll show you in a minute how to get on my YouTube channel. Guys, I'll be back here in a minute. Yeah, yeah. So, he subscribed to my YouTube channel. Hopefully, you've subscribed to my YouTube channel as well. Come on, what are you doing? If you ain't done it, hit the button. Right, guys, come on, let's carry on. Whew. I think it's going to take us a long time. Him. It's going to take us a long time to get through here. Hello. How are you? Right, folks, we've got London bag here. We went here yesterday. London bag is where we was yesterday. This is where I got my man bag from. Uh, yeah. Have a look at this. Yeah. Yes, folks, so this one is London bag. We've already been here. We came in here yesterday and I bought my actual man bag from here. Um, I needed someone to put my camera equipment in. So, so can we have a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll have a walk around. Let's show you the bags. So here on the front here, we've got bags starting from five euros. Nice looking bags. And then you've got some wallets and purses. And you can see, I'm not going to say the names, but you can read for yourselves. We've got Prada, Michael Cowers. Got <laughs> <laughs> to be careful how I pronounce things. We've got Christian Doyle. Goosey. <laughs> Goosey. <laughs> Julie's just laughing at her there. So, come on, let's have a look. You've got VL, or LV, and YSL. All very, very good quality. I can vouch for that because I bought one myself. 
Hopefully the camera's picking everything up all right, because I've got an ND filter on the lens. I can't be bothered, keep just checking it off, on and off. It's a bit dark around here, isn't it? I won't drive, I've got my sunglasses on. Yeah, you ain't going to be able to see much around here, because it's a bit light, a bit dark. Oh, he's put the lights on for us. So, this is very, very similar to the bag that I bought. Not quite the same, but it's very, very similar. Um, and I paid £20. Now, the idea is, folks, and hopefully this is a little bit of uh, helpful information, is if you come here this time of the year, which is classed as their winter, even though it's 33 degrees outside, um, you'll pay, normally, the prices for these would be around about 40 to £50. Pounds. They sold me one for £20, pounds, and it started out at £40. Pounds. Very similar to this. In fact, I'll show you in a little while. Very similar to this. Started off at £40 pounds and sold it me in the end for £20. Pounds. So haggle. Tired. Just remember, haggle. Tired. So we're going to move on from here, but this is a good shop. And I can vouch for the quality of the bags as well because my, I'm well happy with mine. Mine's superb. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very Thank much. you. Very right, come on, guys. Let's move on to the rest of the Thank street. You. It's not a massively long high street, um, but it's certainly got enough in it. And it, it does branch off into all these back streets as well. It's a bit quieter than yesterday. Unique. Yeah, yesterday was election day and everybody was out in full force yesterday. Bodrum was absolutely rammed. But everywhere is open, and to me, this is a much better time of the year to come. You've got Chris, Christian Dior there, as you can see. Christian Dior. I like making up these names. Unique elegance. You've got excursions here, Jeep safaris, you can have a dolphin show, you've got dolphins. Turkish bath over there, Julie's gone talking to him. Horse riding. You can do. A trip to Kosh on the uh, catamaran. We've got that coming up, folks. That's going to be in a vlog. We have actually already paid for that. So it's 100% coming. We was originally going to do it. Let's just uh, change the camera around. We was originally going to do the Kosh Island trip on the Monday. Um, however, they said because it's Easter Monday, there might be a lot of places that are closed because they're a very religious country over in Greece. Um, so it was hit and miss. There could have been a huge festival there today that I'm missing out on. Or... There might have been absolutely nothing, so we thought we'll just play it safe, change it to Wednesday when we know things are going to be open, and we, at least we can go over there and there's going to be something to film. Some people here having their uh, selfies took against a nice looking shop. And here's Mr. Dancer, he's back with his moves again. <laughs> he's got some talent. I tell you what, this would be one reason to come to Bodrum. You could spend all day here shopping and not spend much money. There's a nice little bars down there that leads you to the front. The front is literally just down there. You can see the sea from here. You can see the sea. You can see the sea. And like I said, there are there are many little back streets as well. They go off from the main high street. Well, you can go up these and there's other little shops up there and boutiques and little restaurants and bars. There's loads. Lords to Bodrum. You got another little square coming up here. A big cafe. This was absolutely ram old yesterday. You couldn't get a seat in there. Lovely view of the sea. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Waffle King. That is pretty much the end of the uh, real designer on street. There's a bit more around here, but it's more or less the end of it, isn't it? Empire Shopping Mall, five euros. Let's see what they've got. TikTok. Five euros. Hello. Ten euros. Some Adidas up there. And you've got your trainers, your shoes. Yeah. <laughs> 
We've got some Nikki here. All very, very good quality. To be honest with you, you wouldn't tell them from anything from the uh, real thing, to be honest with you. If somebody saw me a pair of them, I'd think it was the real thing. Julie's standing outside of this place here. You can have your own messages printed on your t-shirts. North Face, Mistral. Got some more sporty shirts here, some vests. Basketball, baseball, whatever it is, I'm not really into it. Very cheap, very nice, very cheap. Let the man pass on his bike. Yes, folks, so there's a couple of uh, Hugal boots, if you know what I mean. Polo shirts in there that I like the look of, so I might go back for some of them in a bit. I, uh, I did actually buy a couple of T-shirts, that was Hugal Bus, if you know what I mean. I can't, does that sound right? Hugal Bus. Anyway, we bought them yesterday, and they are very, very good quality. Very good quality. Even, it's all embossed here. Well, it's all raised, and the, the stitching's very fine, it's very... Details really good. We was advised by the rep today that if you don't just buy something in the packaging, take it out the packaging because it could be XL Ooh. and it could be child size. Yeah. So look at the sizes when you come over here because the sizes tend to be a little bit smaller. Although, believe it or not, back at home, I'm pretty much in an XL. Um, over here, I need to buy double XL. So the uh, the Le Liverpool shirts that I bought yesterday. I bought it in double XL, even though the real ones I buy in XL. So just look at the look at the sizes. Buy one size up, at least one size up. Oh, but they do fit nice. Organised like me, and I measured the grandkids before we come away, and I bought my tape measure with me. They did. She bought a tape measure on holiday. You know, she's an accountant, and there's proof of the pudding. Jill, sometimes I tell you, right. <laughs> Here's a nice view of the sea. Have a look at this. There we are. So just one, just on the left-hand side of the uh, high street, you've got Bodrum Castle, with this fantastic uh, beach, which is a gritty, pebbly beach. It's not sand. If you want sand, you have to get to Bitez. But it's still lovely. You've got all these little beachfront cafes and bars. Let's see if I can get on the front here and show you. And then we'll go back there and film the end of the vlog. And the sea, there's no waves at all. It's so still and calm. And I'm pretty sure it's always like this. People are in the sea, because like I say, it is 33 degrees. If you have a look up there, you can see people having a swim and a bit of a dip in the sea. The pools around the hotels are a bit cold, but there has been people in them. We've got the boats out there. I think this is absolutely the perfect time of year to come to Bodrum because it's not ultra busy. You can get in pretty much any restaurant you want. Everything's open, but you're not queuing for anything. So, folks, if you, you found that video useful, that was a designer alley. Uh, Julie's standing next to me looking at me as if she's not with me. Come on, get in here. So, if you enjoyed that, give me the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, hit the subscribe button. That was Designer Alley. This is Get Some Sun with Paz and the Jules Moister. Signing off for today. We'll see you somewhere else in Bodrum. Ta ta for now. TTFN. Goodbye. Ta ta. Ta ta. Say ta ta, Jules. Ta Jules. Ta ta. Stop messing about. Come on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs>